Hey everybody, Dana here with Lean Healthy Ageless and the co-author of Eat, Live, Thrive, Diet. And if you're a woman 45 plus looking to have your best health, your best nutrition, vitality, your best body, no matter what your age, you're in the right place. And today, a woman who knows so much about nutrition, my good friend Patty Milliken, she's got a PhD in taste physiology, right Patty? <laughs> yes. That's the right way. But you have... You have multiple accreditations um, and you I think I just love how you look at nutrition and how you celebrate the human body in just such a positive way but today Patty I want to talk about a nutrient uh, it, it has been called the mother of all antioxidants <laughs> glutathione and why it's so important I know there's a very specific supplement you've recommended I'm now taking called Brocco Glutathione. And I want to talk a little bit about both the generality of glutathione, why it's important, and why this particular supplement is one that you're recommending. And just thank you. Thank you for a wonderful introduction. <laughs> and I think this is such a fun discussion to talk about glutathione. I mean, I think at the end of all this, uh, probably there's a couple takeaways for all of us. Number one, that sips of news are better than full-on news. And the second is that we'll never take our immune system for granted and that you all will probably earn a PhD <laughs> <laughs> understanding how that immune system is really our data security that runs in the background every single day, right? Well, as part of that team, there is one very unique amino acid. L-glutathione is actually part of the family of amino acids that is called, like you just said, it's the master antioxidant. And I think sometimes I even forget that when we are digesting foods, when we're taking in breathing and being out and even in our house or out in nature, there's just certain things that our body cannot use. We pull what we can use. So I always like to think of it as kind of a conveyor belt mm -hmm. and that we pull off the items that we can use, but that eventually there's remnants and metabolites and waste. And that's where glutathione comes in. Glutathione is, is the master, um, you know, kind of metabolite that renders those things non-toxic. So if we kind of turn it in the light of where we're at, where we're asking our immune system to really be on high alert, we notice that part of the reason why that equation of that inner shield falls down isn't that the immune system didn't discover something. It as it began to take off its raincoat, maybe you've heard that, is that a lot of these germs have kind of a protein coat and part of our immune system, natu natural killer cells, will remove it to allow us to go and kill it. Yes. But then there's a carcass, hate to be so frank, <laughs> and it's really in that dis disposing of the carcass where glutathione gets utilized. So I do think with stress, because all of our stress hormones break down and there's toxic remnants to that, glutathione is called in to remove those too. Mm -hmm. And also we know if you, interestingly enough, you don't move enough, if you don't get enough movement or exercise, that overtaxes glutathione. If you move too much and overtrain, <laughs> it kicks in. Sounds like it likes balance. <laughs> exactly. So at this time, I do think it's a, it's a point for us to try to eat glutathione-rich foods and to be very cognizant of taking out the trash. And maybe I can just make a comment, something very, very easy, especially for so many of us working from home, that really about every 90 minutes or two hours, you should think about taking out the trash. In other words, get up and move. And one of the best ones for women in particular is to move our arms. Because we have a flow of lymphatic tissue that goes not only through our breast, but then continues to our lymph nodes. And uh, we are very, very good at keeping that lymphatic tissue. Uh, well, let me put it the other way. When we don't move, we don't take out the trash. And then that lymphatic system pools, and it does pool in breast tissue. Mm -hmm. So something even every two hours, put a little sticky on your computer and move your arms. And this is the cool part. It, you can be a traffic guard. <laughs> you can be the cheerleader. Whatever you do, that alone, and then marching in place to move your lymphatic for your lower body. So I know that's not really nutrition, but... No, I think but that's right. I just a rebounder because... Yes. I know in my little cancer battle and, and just 
being more and more cognizant of wanting to do those little things every day that stimulate yes. my immunity and my health. I know the rebounder, body brushing, you know, yes. eye brushing, those kinds of things stimulate the lymph flow. But I love your suggestion because a simple shoulder roll and arms, yes. you know, swim, yes. go, go swimming at your desk or whatever. <laughs> We're exactly. all over anyway in general in life. Right. You know, how we get up and do things, we need to open up. So that's a great suggestion. Yes, exactly. And I think you've got a list of foods. So, Patty, three on the list. Uh, there's some forms of tea that seem to be great. Whey protein, as well as a lot of cruciferous vegetables. Yes. So your thought, would you add to that list? You know, I, I any root vegetable. So if you're fans of beets, beetroot. Mm -hmm. Even if you're not, I'd say become a fan. <laughs> Sweet potatoes, uh, anything that grows close to the ground like that, rutabagas and squashes. And then, of course, all of our Brussels sprouts and broccoli and cauliflower are just terrific. Well, and I said we wanted to talk about a supplement that you particularly yes. like, which is called Broccoglutathione. <laughs> and I have, yeah. in all my research now on my Notch It Up Health Quest, discovering the power of broccoli sprouts in the how much nutri nutritional density they have. I've been growing mine. You'd be so proud yes. to know. I'm growing nice. broccoli sprouts at home because they're, they're hard to find. Yes. Uh, but this particular product, the Broccoli Glutathione by Nature's Answer, is your first pick for this kind of a supplementation because certainly we always want to encourage people to eat first right. eat and get these foods in. Um, but can we get enough every single day? Right. And I do say food first always, but I will say in this case, uh, I would highly recommend, you know, partner with your healthcare practitioner to ensure that there isn't any contraindication, but this is um, a supplement that really does no harm. And uh, I think it does kind of just elevate what we're doing in our diet to a level of glutathione that is just kind of, again, being a master, the mother uh, in our times like this, for sure. And then just a comment on, on the sprouts. Uh, now there's so many microgreens out there. And if you can grow them at home, I give you so much credit. I think that's awesome because think about it. They're sprouts. So they contain all the package of the enzymes and the nutrients to grow a plant. Mm -hmm. So if we consume those at that early tender stage, one is they often don't have as many bitter compounds, but they still have a lot of great activity for our bodies. Why are the broccoli sprouts or the Brocco part yes. of Glutathione um, Nature's Answer product, that's unique to most products. What, right. what is it that makes that product you know, maybe more bioavailable or whatever? Right. Well, and I think one is, I would say probably three reasons in particular. One is just Nature's Answer's belief in terms of mimicking nature when they make their nutrient supplements. And I love that because I think they're the highly, one of the highly intelligent supplement companies out there. Glutathione likes to be escorted into the cell. It does, it does not just want to show up. And in part of the escort are a couple of the compounds naturally found in broccoli sprouts. So you can imagine it's a queen and it's coming with both of its guards to be ex as, you know, put into the cell. And the best thing about that is our body loves that then we don't run around and find escorts for it. It comes packaged. And that's, it. yeah, and that really is a benefit. And then thirdly, after they manufacture it, they are, it's all food grade. You could open that up, you could sprinkle it on your food, and you would actually taste broccoli sprouts. Oh, that's so uh, that's, a, that's why I really like that product. Excellent. Well, Patty, as always, you you make it so much more fun and interesting with all. I mean, I've never thought of a vitamin being escorted. I, I <laughs> see it in my mind with her little crown on and like, I'm here to help you, but I'm not coming alone. Exactly. Um, <laughs> well, God bless you in all that you're doing. I know you're bringing a lot of hope and, and perspective, which is what we need right now. Healthy perspective to do the things we can do. So appreciate you so much. Right. Oh, no. Thank you so much. And bye to everybody and stay well. <laughs>